Reporting from Arkham Asylum, this is Gotham Rogues. In this video we spotlight the underrated rogue, Ragdoll. In case someone missed my last video, I just want to quickly mention that I just launched a Patreon page, a site where you can get access to exclusive content, such as my new series One Shot Batman Villains, which spotlights rogues who's only appeared in one single story. The first episode is up right now and showcased the fantastic Dr. No Face, real name Paul Dent. A link to my Patreon is in the description. So with that out of the way, let's get into the history of the underrated rogue, Ragdoll. Ragdoll aka Peter Merkel was introduced in Flash Comics 36, published in 1942. This story was titled Tale of the Treasure Hunt and featured the writing of Gardner Fox and the pencils of Lou Ferstadt. In it we meet Pete Merkel, a contortionist working at a carnival who finds himself unemployed when said carnival goes out of business. Desperate, Merkel turns to crime and gets the idea to post as a ragdoll on a shelf inside a department store. After everyone's left and the place has closed for the night, Merkel makes his move and cleans out the store as safe. He then continues with his MO and gains a notorious rep in the underworld, attracting cadres of goons looking to work for this new criminal mastermind, the Ragdoll. However, Pete's crime spree reached its end at the hands of Jay Garrick, aka the original Flash. This was the Ragdoll's sole appearance for a very long time, and he didn't return until over a decade later. In The Flash 229, published in 1974, the story by Carrie Bates and Rev Novick was called The Ragdoll Runs Wild, and in it, the second, newer Flash, Barry Allen, travels to Earth 2 to help Jay capture Merkel, who started a crime wave once again. Turns out, though, that Pete was just being used as a pawn, mind controlled by the true mastermind, the Thinker. Next up was a Justice League three-parter published in 1981, where Merkel joined a new version of the Secret Society of Supervillains, led by the Ultra Humanites. The team was composed of villains from both Earth 1 and 2, including Killer Frost, Cheetah, Psycho Pirates and The Mist. The character then received a revamp of sorts in James Robinson's Starman series. Issue 11 of the Starman series, published in 1995, featured a tale related to us by the immortal Shade, set in the early 80s. In it, Peter Merkel is an old man and a has-been loser with a failed criminal career to look back on. His body has also grown frail, causing him to lose his former agility. However, Pete realizes that he has a way with words and the gift of persuasion. He uses this to preach to the destiny and the homeless of Opal City, forming a cult of mindless fanatics who obey Merkel's every command. Clearly having gone utterly insane, Ragdoll used these legions of devoted minions to wreak random mayhem and terror in Starman City. In order to defeat this new massive threat, Ted Knight aka Starman enlists the help of his former Justice Society comrades, including Ragdoll's old nemesis, Jay Garrick. Together they eventually capture Merkel, but the mad villain promised the heroes that he'll get back at them by having his numerous remaining minions attack their loved ones. Ragdoll then suddenly make for a break, and in the confusion as well as out of desperation, the Justice Society members kill Merkel before he's able to flee. His corpse was however later stolen from the morgue. This being comics, the character was quickly brought back to life, somehow, and in the following years he made more appearances than he ever had during his entire existence. Perhaps the most notable one was in the Justice Society tree part published in 2006, called Honor Among Thieves. In this tale, Ragdoll joins a new version of the Injustice Society on a high-stakes caper alongside the likes of the Icicle, Solomon Grundy and the Gentleman Ghost. This story ends with Merkel betraying the team, however, and, once again, dying. The character did appear in the New 52 during the Forever Evil event as an inmate of Arkham Asylum. As far as I know, we haven't seen Peter Merkel since then. Besides Pete, there's also existed another ragdoll, namely Peter Merkel Jr., his son. Jr. made his first appearance in the Villains United miniseries, which served as the introduction of the Secret Six. It featured the writing of Gail Simone, the penciling of Dale Eaglesham, and was published in 2005. The character went on to appear as a mainstay member of the Secret Six in their own ongoing title. Jr. was born an ordinary baby, without his father's triple joints, but in order to impress his disapproving dad, Jr. went through a painful operation to grant him the same agility, which also hideously disfigured him. Peter Merkel Sr. never did seem to approve of his son anyways, and the two even fought once during a battle between the Society and the Secret Six. From what I've been able to dig up, Junior also appeared in the New 52 in an issue of Batgirl's comic appearance. 
apparently. However, he hasn't shown up either since then. So, when it comes to other media outside of the comics, the only representation Ragdoll has is the Batman cartoon show. He first appeared in the season 2 episode Ragdolls to Riches, where he becomes a rival thief to Catwoman after they both try to pull off the same caper at the same time. The character was featured in a few more episodes, including one where he joins a group of villains led by the Penguin. I remember watching the first episode when it originally aired, and I rewatched it for the sake of this video. It's not amazing by any means, but a pretty fun episode, and Ragdoll is basically portrayed as a classic version from the comics, a triple jointed contortionist thief, although with a complete visual redesign. This the Batman version is probably the most well known depiction of the character, and it is indeed how I was introduced to Ragdoll. Because he appeared on a Batman show, and most people haven't read his comics, many tend to assume he's a Bat Rogue. But of course he ain't. If he belongs to any rogues gallery, I guess I'd say it's Jay Garrix. I personally love Ragdoll, but that shouldn't be a surprise. He's a bizarre character who's taken a cute and innocent theme and turned it into something creepy and sinister. That's just my cup of tea. And he does really feel like a Batman villain, doesn't he? I mean, he'd fit in just perfectly in Arkham Asylum, next to guys like Joker and Scarecrow. Ragdoll would probably be better off in the Bat's rogues gallery too, as then he'd likely appear a lot more. Being associated with the original Flash isn't really such a good thing, because the guy hasn't really had an ongoing solo books since the 40s. He mainly just appears in team books like the Justice Society of America. As a result, there's very little focus on his supporting characters and rogues. Just look at The Shade, a villain who was completely neglected until James Robinson hijacked him and put him in his Starman series. Robinson did that with Ragdoll too, interestingly enough, but old Pete never appeared as frequently as The Shade, nor did he become anywhere near as popular. What I would really want is an ongoing Garrick title featuring the classic Garrick rogues as recurring foes, including Ragdoll. Shade could show up in it as well. This will most likely never happen though, so the best thing for Merkel would probably be to become a Batman villain. He doesn't really fit fighting the Flash anyway. I mean, what good is his agility against the Scarlet Speedster? It makes more sense for him to be facing a non-superpowered hero like the Dark Knight. I think Ragdoll has a lot of potential, and it's a shame that he's made so few appearances both in comics and other media. He's a very fun and eccentric villain with an awesome theme and visual design. I mean, just look at the little fella. His origin and motivations could use some work though, and that's what I think they should do if they bring him back in a big way. Rewrite or at least flesh out the character's background. So there you have it, that's the story of Ragdoll, a neglected DC rogue who's one of my personal favorites. What do you think about this guy? Let me know in the comments. And as always, remember, Arkham Asylum awaits you in the next video.